FDA has now received reports of 65 more cases of a rare, possibly fatal disease in patients with renal failure who receive a contrast agent containing gadolinium while undergoing certain imaging procedures. The disease, called nephrogenic systemic fibrosis, nephrogenic fibrosing dermopathy, or NSF-NFD, is characterized by fibrosis of the skin and internal organs. These new reports add to the cases we told you about earlier. In the new reports, the affected patients had end-stage kidney failure, and they'd had either magnetic resonance angiography, MRA, or MRI with a gadolinium-based contrast agent. Their NSF-NFD began from two days to 18 months after exposure to the agent. Although many of these patients received large amounts of the contrast agents, some received only one dose. In addition, researchers have found gadolinium deposits in the skin of patients who developed NSF-NFD. There are currently five FDA-approved gadolinium-based contrast agents, Magnavist, Multihance, Omniscan, Optimark, and Prohance. These agents are approved for use during an MRI scan, but not for MRA. Although NSF-NFD has been reported for only three of these five agents, FDA believes that there's a potential for NSF-NFD to occur with the use of any of the approved gadolinium-based agents. Because of this, FDA is recommending that whenever possible, healthcare professionals choose imaging methods other than MRI or MRA with gadolinium for patients with moderate to end-stage kidney disease. If these patients must receive a gadolinium-based agent, consider prompt dialysis following the MRI or MRA. Patients should be aware of the signs and symptoms of NSF-NFD and report these to their doctor. They include swelling and tightening of the skin, red or dark skin patches, and difficulty flexing or extending the joints. Finally, FDA is asking healthcare professionals and patients to report possible cases of NSF-NFD through FDA's MedWatch program.